Three, two, one, go! It's beautiful. So, <laughs> can you get out? <laughs> is frozen into the car. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crying. This is so funny. What do you need me to do? I'm afraid I'm gonna break my door handle. <gasps> no, you're actually kidding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kids are playing in the snow that we never have. It is so frozen. Icicles off the waterfalls and slide. We are losing two of the three downspouts. They're trying to make snowballs. Today, is day four of the most frigid ice temperatures we have ever experienced in Texas. We got snow, we got ice, we got negative 20 degrees at night. It was so cold and they got word that four people's houses, pipes, there's sprinklers in their house in case of a fire. The fire sprinklers. Burst, even though they were in their house because it's been five days of cold weather. We are draining ours. We've never done this before. We'll so off. Sean shut off the fire sprinklers. This is the main from the main water from the driveway up through the house, up through the riser. We hope. Turn that off and then one in your closet. And, and then the in my out. closet there's a drain, <clears throat> which again, we've never done this before. And we really this hope that they're draining career. outside and not somewhere in the house. I'm not uncomfortable with it. But there's this pipe here that's, that's apparently the drain. The drain. Yep. So Sean's draining, which will hopefully prevent our sprinklers from bursting inside the house and flooding the house. Also, we're lucky that we still have power because a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people do not. <clears throat> and they're very cold. The city might turn the water off tonight, so we started filling all of our pots and pans and, and my bathtub. Wait, anything we could think of, the cooler. Is it bath is the bathtub with water. Full? So that if we don't have water tomorrow, we have some we can use for a hot minute. Is the bathtub full? Yeah. <laughs> But not for me to bathe in. No. Supposedly we're getting our last round of storms tonight with freezing rain and snow. It's cold again today, but not as bad as yesterday, last night. And then I think Thursday it's supposed to be cold. Today's Wednesday. No, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday, Wednesday night, the temperatures are supposed to be really cold again. And then finally on Friday we start warming up. And the next week it's supposed to be in the 60s. So everything's gonna melt and everyone's Wait. pipes that burst are gonna be suddenly Wait, guys, flowing look. with water. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. to the airport to see my boyfriend after this crazy winter storm. The roads, I don't know if you can see them, are still pretty icy. Um, but my dad here is pro. He grew up in Idaho. Knows how to drive in the ice and snow. So he's taking us and it's currently 4.15 in the morning. Me and Brooklyn are both headed to the airport. Um, our pool valve and hot pool and hot tub valve? Yeah, the, the spa or whatever, it broke last night. It froze over and burst, which means my parents are up all night, not getting any sleep. And then Finnegan here was also up all night because they were up all night, so then I was up all night, and I think all of us are mostly deprived. But 
I'm finally making it to the airport and I'm happy about that, so yay! Hey guys, what's up? It's bright and early, clearly. It's freaking tired, I'm so tired, but Brooklyn is in town and we're going skiing. And I've only been skiing once, Brooklyn's only been skiing once, so we both did it twice. I went, or er, this is our second time. Um, I went snowboarding a couple weeks ago, so I have that. But we're super excited to go skiing all day. We're going to see friends. Brooks is going to be there. Um, let's see how we do. Picture footage. You good? Oh, your ski pushes the other way. <gasps> there, can you see my little friend right there? Jackson Paisley? That's a sea turtle. You can't get super close to him. I'm about 15, 20 feet away. There he is, see him? So today on our run, we've seen whales and dolphins and now turtles. You can see him right here. <laughs> that one almost got me. Hey, buddy. Hi. Out early in the morning feeding. There's a few more over in there. Do you see him right there? There's like four or five right in there. All right, here we are. We're about ready to start this hike, aren't we? Ready. We are way up here. I don't know if you can see. There we are. This is Waimea Canyon, the lookout point at the top. This is where our hike starts. It's cold though. It's really cold. We are like a mile and a quarter in. This is our trail. That's straight up. There's no flat anywhere. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Okay, hey Mindy, this is our trail. She's gonna show you how really hard. It's as tall, those obstacles are as tall as she is. You got it? All right, we got to a dead end here. As you can see this right there. We made a wrong turn. We made a wrong turn. There was one that looked like it, it was pretty muddy and might have been more of a creek bed, but I think it was actually the trail we're supposed to follow. Suck. The GPS doesn't work up here, so we're on our own. And there's nobody else up here. Literally nobody. Better not break a leg. Mm -hmm. oh, come on. Come on, Tuts. <laughs> it's like all fours. Three of the four need to be Hey, your on. bum's not brown yet. Perfect. We gotta go all the way down to that other trail. Okay. <sighs> Turn down we the found right trail. Something man made, which and means we're not there's lost. There's little treacherous coming down. Whatever we come down off of, we have to climb back up. And whatever we climb up, we have to climb back down to get out of here. But we finally found some wooden steps. It should make it a little bit easier through here. We've got 200 of these bad boys, which is not going to be bad going down, but coming up, it's going to be a bear. Okay, we've reached close to the top here. This is part of the swamp, right? It's a swamp. There's nothing living in it that I can tell. <laughs> they have a fence right over here. And they say they've got traps in there for some animals that are predatory. What? Problematic. Maybe wild boar, I don't know. Maybe chupacabras. I don't want to find out. <laughs> chupacabras. <laughs> Breathe that air, doesn't it smell good? Can you breathe? <laughs> this is like the only flat part. The rest of it was either up I feel like or... we've gone up, then down, then up, then down, then like this much flat, and then up, then down, then up, then we literally have climbed from... Ridge to ridge. Ridge to ridge, essentially. Valley peak, valley peak. Yeah. And my... All right. 
right, where are we now? On Did the edge of there? another cliff. <laughs> this makes my <laughs> knees completely weak. Like a really, really steep giant cliff. That's Hanalei Bay right over there near Princeville. Beautiful. And there's our car right over there. <laughs> now that we're at the top, we're up here eating lunch. Yeah, the I don't want to go back. You want to go back? It was rough. Mm -hmm. The hardest part is knowing what we have to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> when you're coming, you don't know, but when you go back, you know that what's better. That was better. rough. And I'd say at least two thirds of it is going to be uphill or stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we just finished lunch and we are on our way back. Should take about two hours, right? If we don't make any wrong turns. I don't know, that was a lot of downhill here. That means uphill on the way back. Trying to climb ourselves out of this hike. <laughs> it's like two to 300 of these straight up. Imagine a stair stepper on level 30. Incline. <laughs> We've got about a mile left here, and we have what more stairs? <laughs> you can do it, Mindy. You can do it. And that's not the last of them. <laughs> yeah. We need to vlog right, you. You just vlog me bit. looking tired. No. Okay, we've got fog. We were way past those that ridges over there, up and down those valleys. We would be in. Mist of darkness right now. We better hurry before it catches up on us. I don't want to do that last stretch through fog. Let's now. go. Come on. Okay. Okay, we only have about a half a mile left and we're at this lookout point. Look how beautiful that is. The water is so serene. Mindy's vlogging. Taking pictures. <laughs> Taking pictures. But it's so beautiful. So where we need to get back to is that dome wall right over that observatory. That's where we're parked. Mm -hmm. It is so calm, isn't it? Glad it's over. <laughs> Would you do it again tomorrow? No. Maybe in a few years? There you go, that's how it always is. If you want to know how close we were, get caught in the fog. There it is. That's our trail right there. You can see it coming in. We were close. We can't come to Hawaii without first seeing a rainbow. There we go. Check out how vibrant and vivid that is. Incredible, isn't it? Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Can't beat that. Actually, there's a double. There, there's a double, yeah. It's a, but it's not a double complete rainbow yet. <laughs> so we have a couple hours before we go to the airport and we decided to rent some bikes here on Kauai in Kaloa and take a ride along the coastline. Uh, beautiful weather. The ocean is amazing and the perfect way to end this trip, biking up the coastline. Yesterday, I went everywhere Minnie wanted to go to take photos. So you'll see some of those on her Instagram. We went all over the island, trying to find some creative poses. There she is with her parents. We're kind of sad to say goodbye to them. They've got another three or four weeks here, uh, and then they'll head back home to Utah. Sean and I hiked down to one of our favorite beaches today. It's kind of a hidden beach that not very many people know about, which makes it actually a lot more fun. So Sean's over there, can you see him? In the shade of the tree, hiding in the shade because he's uh, hot and I'm cold. So I'm sitting in the sun and we just took some pictures on the beach. But this is pretty much our view. I'll show you, it's so amazing.
So you kind of have to walk along this ridge line to get down in here. It's not bad. Where are you, Sean? There you are. Getting to, to the beach is the cutest walk. So I'm going to show you some highlights as we go. You can see right there that you have to walk along this ridge across these branches and cracks and trees and through all these little arch paths like this that are literally tree roots I'm climbing through. It's so pretty. Through kind of the grassy area. Here's your view here. Tell me that is not the prettiest. So cool. And last and final little stretch. Watch your head. And we're out. 